What is going on everybody? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24 seven TV. I'm so glad that you're back with me today because today's the day iOS 15, iPad OS 15 are launching and we're talking about focus modes, how to set them up. What's the benefit of them? Let's get right into it. Apple just dropped iOS 15 and now it's time to set up and customize one of the new features, which is focus modes. This is a feature that enables you to be your most productive self and manage distractions with your iPhone. You can access focus modes one of two different ways. You can pull down in the control center, you're gonna see the focus mode tile, or you can open up settings, and it's gonna be in the second section under focus. Out of the box, Apple includes several default focus modes, such as personal, work, gaming, and sleeping. Those can be customized, or we can add our own. Now, first we're gonna go ahead and add our own. I'm gonna click on the plus button at the very top, and I'm going to choose to customize or add a custom focus. You can name it whatever you want and choose a nice little glyph. Now the very first screen says allow people for notifications. This allows me to add people that I want to get alerted from when this focus mode is enabled. I'm going to choose no one, allow none. And I'm going to choose call, allow calls from everyone. Here are the apps that are allowed to send me notifications while I'm in personal mode. I'm going to click on the plus button. I'm going to choose FaceTime from here. I'm going to click done. And the next option is for time sensitive notifications. So for apps that are not included in this list, Apps can then choose to send me a time sensitive notification, maybe like HomeKit, where I would have someone ringing my doorbell and I'm gonna click allow. Now my focus mode is ready. Now here we see the focus mode. There's a toggle up here that shows whether it's on or off. Here it shows the apps and the people that are allowed to send me notifications. Here's the focus status, which says disabled. If I click on that, this will allow me to, anyone that I'm messaging with either in the messages app or other third party messaging clients, to see my status and be notified that I'm in a focus mode. I'm gonna go to home screen. I'm gonna see high notification badges. And also if I wanna customize pages. So let's just say I only wanna see this first page when my personal focus mode is enabled. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to lock screen. I can choose to dim the lock screen when this is enabled or show on the lock screen itself. And then finally I can add an automation and those automations can be time-based and where this focus mode is activated every day at 8 a.m. I can do a location base where anyone anytime I go to work or anytime I open up a certain app. And then there's smart activation where the system learns based on other triggers when to activate it. Now, if I go back one screen, then I can share my focus mode across devices. There you have it. That is focus in iOS and iPad OS 15. Let me know what questions you have down in the comments below. I have a whole series of these coming, so make sure you are subscribed to catch the latest in iOS and iPadOS 15, plus my full review, which will be dropping soon. Catch you in the next one.